<laughs> All right, let's talk about something that is not always easy to have, but certainly can have a wealth of benefits in your life if you have it, and that is the concept of gratitude. Now, believe it or not, gratitude is not necessarily tied to the things that you actually have. Gratitude is a mindset, so you'll find that some of the most grateful people actually have much less uh, than other people, depending on what you're valuing in your life, which we'll get to in just a second. Uh, but gratitude really is a mindset can, that, that can have a lot of positive impacts on our life, primarily in some of the modules that we've already talked about in this particular class. So the first thing I want to do is share six benefits of happiness, six characteristics or areas of life we've already talked about that can actually be related to high amounts of gratitude. So the first is just a large amount of happiness. People who are grateful, who have a lot of gratitude, generally report a better sense of well-being and just a general higher sense of happiness than those who do not. The second is the idea of hopefulness, so you're not just grateful for what you currently have, you're optimistic about the future as well. The third is patience. We've actually talked a lot about patience in this class, and the idea that we have to wait for things that have value to us is obviously important here as well. But people who have high gratitude usually demonstrate a lot of patience as well. Tied to that is determination. People who report having more gratitude are often more motivated and encouraged to actually pursue their goals and to actually achieve them. Next, we have coping skills. So if you're able to be grateful for everything in your life, you may be able to recognize more different types of coping skills. You may have better relationships. Uh, you just have a wide variety of ways to cope with tragedy that will inevitably come our way. And then finally, pro-social behavior. If you are happy and hopeful and patient and determined and have a lot of coping skills, typically those type of people want to give back. And so people who are grateful are also more likely to do positive things for the people in their lives. So those are just six benefits. But believe it or not, when I was doing research for this particular module, I ran across so much research that I had to whittle it down into a number that I could manage. But there are so many other positive aspects of life that are correlated with, or at least related to, having high amounts of gratitude. So, how do you become grateful? Well, I've come up with five steps that uh, can hopefully take us there. The first is desire. You have to want to be grateful. You don't just stumble into gratitude. It has to be a mindset that you want to achieve, just like so many things we've talked about in this course. The second is that you have to be able to recognize the good things in your life. That sounds easy, but not everyone's able to do that, especially if you've had a particularly difficult childhood. Um, you may not have had some of the things that other people have. It can be difficult for you to recognize the good things in your life. Conversely, if you've had a lot of positive things in your life, you may take for granted things that other people don't have. So recognizing the good parts of your life isn't as easy as it may seem at first glance. The next step is actually humility. Now this is interesting and it's different than some of the things we talked about because to be grateful, to have gratitude, means to recognize that good things have happened to you outside of your own doing. If you're happy about things you've done, that's great, you should be. Um, that's pride, that's self-esteem. But gratitude is the recognition that other things have happened to you, um, whether that's other people, life in general, higher power, whatever the case may be. It's this understanding that good things have happened that you didn't have anything to do with, necessarily. And then the fourth is free will, but it's really recognizing the free will of other people. Um, if you are a firm believer in fate and that everything happens the way it's supposed to and we're all just cogs in a big machine pumping along, this may not be the easiest concept for you to grasp because the idea is we can't really be grateful for someone's actions towards us that have been positive unless we think they chose to do them. Um, if they just stumbled into it, that's not necessarily the same thing as gratitude. We can be happy we have whatever happened to us, but that's not the same thing as being grateful towards someone or something that chose to give us that positive benefit. And then finally, for me, this is the most important. This is expressing gratitude. Um, certainly it's important to express gratitude towards the people who have had a positive impact on your life. So important to do that. We don't do that enough. But it's also important to just express that recognition for yourself. 
Um, a gratitude journal is something I used to keep in college when I was really battling my depression. Super helped me. Uh, I'm actually considering starting that up again uh, because research has shown that people who keep a daily record of just small things they're grateful for have all of those benefits that we just talked about. So this is only one path towards gratitude, but the five steps I want you to know are desire, recognition, humility, free will, and expression. And then finally, there are three characteristics that I feel pretty strongly um, have an impact on our gratitude. So gratitude is not something that you either have it or you don't. There are levels of gratitude, and they're impacted by these three characteristics. The first is cost. So if someone really was selfless, and it took a lot for them to do whatever it is they did for you, whether that's financially, whether that's effort, whether that's time, we tend to appreciate that more. But if it didn't really require that much of a loss for someone else, well, then it really doesn't have the same amount of gratitude. Um, if you go out of your way to build a house for someone who needs one, that's a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of effort. And there's a huge amount of gratitude there. If they give you two extra chicken nuggets at McDonald's and you just give those to me because you don't like that chicken nugget that much, that's not the same amount of cost to you. Those are two very extreme examples. And be aware that cost doesn't always correlate with the amount of gratitude, but it certainly can impact it. Related to that a little bit is the second characteristic, and that is value. So again, people can do nice things for you or give you things they think you would like, but unless you value them, it's not important. Um, sometimes people will mean well and they'll do things for us they think we want, but they're coming from their perspective and not ours. So even if someone spent a lot of time and effort into something, if that doesn't matter to you, it doesn't really lead to the same amount of gratitude. It actually can do the opposite where you feel as if people don't know you and know what you value. So value is important if you're doing something um, to have a positive impact on somebody else. And then third is sincerity. So does the person giving you this positive outcome really mean it? Do they really wish you well? Do they have a hidden agenda? Do they have motivations that you're aware of that aren't necessarily tied to your own well-being? Again, you can be happy that you have what you have, but that doesn't mean you'll be grateful and have gratitude if these individuals have done good things for you for nefarious or maybe selfish reasons. So that's why selflessness is such a huge role. I had not planned on doing this. This is the final video I'll do for this class. But this thing has been itching to get in here the entire time. So some of you have not met Piper. This is Piper. And uh, she's always very sincere in whatever she happens to do. So since I heard her barking at the door, I thought it was a perfect segue to end our final video in the class. So I'm grateful for her, I'm grateful for you, and hopefully this has given you some information about how to have a grateful mindset. Good night, Piper.